We spent over $24,000 to make this dream of van life into reality. And in this video, we're gonna break down where all that money went. But first, my name's Dylan. I'm Chase. And together, we're Project Today. So in this video, we are going to break down everything that we spend money on in our conversion, but we want everyone out there to remember that the priorities for you might be completely different than they were for us. And at the end of this video, we're gonna talk about how we can afford to spend $24,000 on this whole box truck. So stick around if you wanna hear that. Once we decided that we were going to convert a U-Haul box truck, we started looking online, looking at a bunch of different options in a bunch of different cities, trying to find the right U-Haul for us. We eventually went to Denver where we were able to test drive a few and we settled on this truck right here. And the cost of that was $7,676.60. And of course, that was the first big expense in this entire conversion and was buying this 2006 retired U-Haul box truck. Now we're gonna talk about all the individual products that we used in this van build. And if you wanna see more about these products, all of them are gonna be linked in the description. So go check the description if you wanna know exactly what products we used. First, one of the first projects that we did in the box truck was installing two Max Air roof vent fans. The cost of those fans together was $471.96. The next big project we did was installing windows on the sides and top of the mom's attic of the truck, so three windows in total. And for that, we spent $577.37. Not bad for three windows. We have a few different types of insulation in the box truck, including Easy Cool, XPS, Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks. The total for all of those products was $473.04. After that, we installed the floors. And for this price, we basically included everything from the vinyl at the top, the plywood in the middle, all the way down to the insulation on the bottom of our floors. And that total cost was $651.01. Can't forget about the one cent, dude. You, you can't. You have to put in the have spreadsheet. Have to count every cent. For our gym, we have three different prices here. First, the cost to build the gym initially was $451.70. Now it should be said, if you want to create a gym similar to how we did, it can definitely be done for cheaper. A lot of that cost went into experimenting with a few different ideas first. So if you want to see exactly how we created our gym, go watch that video. It'll be linked right here. I don't know where it is. Up here. Is it this one corner? Yeah. Second cost for the gym, we spent $369.59 buying weights. Who knew that weights could be that expensive? <laughs> That's true. absurd. I feel like we could pour some concrete or something oh into 45 gosh. pound weights for so much cheaper. <laughs> next time, next time. And then the third cost of the gym was unfortunately when we had our accident, we had to spend $114.86 repairing the gym. No! I'm so sorry. That comes to a total of $936.15 spent on our gym. The next big expense was the couch that we are sitting on right now, and it looks a lot better than it did when we built it. <laughs> it was our first time really getting into the woodworking. So we bought a lot of wood that we didn't end up using, but we also bought a ton of wood that then became other projects in the van. So it should be noted that a decent amount of the wood that we bought for the couch project was then used in a bunch of projects later down the line. But for those days when we were building the couch, the ultimate expense was $620.13. So there you go. And that doesn't include the cushions or the upholstery. We'll talk about that later in this video. Next, our fridge. Big boy. We wanted to invest in a really good fridge because we knew that if we got a good fridge and a nice place to cook, that we would spend a lot of time in the van cooking and less time going out to restaurants. So the price of our fridge is $1,317.18. But honestly, worth every penny. It's a great fridge. Yeah, it's the Dometic 110 liter fridge. Highly recommend. Absolutely beautiful. After that, we continued building out a nice kitchen and we ended up buying a Camp Chef stove oven and some propane parts to of course make that work. And we ended up spending $481.03 on those two things combined. That expense and the fridge expense, again, totally worth it. Another thing that's totally worth it were our mattresses. We looked far and wide for mattresses that didn't have any fiberglass in the cover because we knew we had to cut into the mattresses in order to make them into our couch. We ended up finding mattresses from Ikea, Morgadal. <laughs> yeah, you name. got it, you nailed yeah. it, yeah. Morgadal. <laughs> we bought two queens, came out to a total of $498. And then we promptly sliced them open. Yeah. 
like animals. Going back to the kitchen, we then spent $150 on the wood to create our countertop and our table. But after that is an expense that we are less than proud about, and that is that we spent $143.40 on stains and polyurethane coatings. That's crazy. That's insane because most of what we bought were just testers that we didn't actually end up using. <laughs> I wonder if they sell a, a kit of 20 different colors of stains or something, but it's, you know, just a tiny, tiny amount where then you can test it out on a section, test all of them out, and then choose the one you want. That way you can just spend $30 on stain and polyurethane <laughs> instead of 143. And the total cost for the stain, polyurethane, and wood for our countertop and our table was $293.40. Next comes our fabric, which is right here. We spent $130.52 on fabric, but that doesn't include the whole cost. Shout out to Tracy, Oliver's mom, for paying for probably more than half of the fabric. What a legend. We also spent $21.60 for a bread knife that we used to cut our mattresses. But we still have said bread knife in our box truck to cut bread. We, we really just keep it around if we have to cut any more mattresses one day. And for defense. <laughs> Don't break in. So in total for our fabric and upholstering, we spent $152.12. However, should be said, this is one of the very few things in the van that I wish that cost were higher. I wish we had taken these mattresses to someone professional to upholster them. We chose to upholster our mattresses ourselves, and shout out again to Tracy for so much help in that process. However, after starting to live in the box truck, we noticed there was a huge problem where our mattresses weren't ventilated properly at all. There was a piece of plywood on the back of all of them, and over time it would lead to mold. So we had to come up with this round roundabout solution in order to ventilate our mattresses properly. And in the first place, we should have just had them professionally upholstered so we wouldn't have to deal with this issue. Next up, we bought our fabulous sink, which is sitting perfectly over there in our kitchen countertop. It didn't take like seven tries to get the sink in, don't you oh, worry. Not. The sink though itself cost $127.05. One of the final projects that we worked on, and I know Oliver wishes he could be here to talk about this because it was probably one of his favorite projects of the entire conversion, <sighs> that was adding tile to our tile backsplash behind our kitchen. That project took a good long while and it ended up costing us $167.76. And then our final product that we have in our van build is our upper cabinets. This was the one part of the van build that we didn't build. The one kind of wood part of the van build that we didn't build. We bought these cabinets from Ikea and we spent $319.98 on them. Really not bad at all. No. I'm really happy we did this because they are perfect, they are easy, and only $319 not bad for eight upper cabinets. Those were all of the products that we used in the van build. And of course there were a few more, but it was really hard to categorize them because in our spreadsheet that we built <laughs> that holds all the expenses. Some of them were just included, mashed into other expenses, so it's hard to divide them up. For example, the, the tongue and groove on the, the walls. We don't know exactly how much that all cost because it was over 10 trips to Home Depot and yeah. buying other things during the process. Everything that we just went through is the, the big items, and then we'll go through an other section later. But before we move on to this other section, we get to talk about the tools that we used in this conversion. First up was the drill that we used in pretty much every single build episode throughout the entire conversion. And luckily for us, that initial drill was actually a gift. Shout out Nana. And not only that, but the circular saw that we used on almost every single woodworking project was also a gift from my grandfather, so we have to say shout out to both of them. Without you, this conversion would have cost a little bit more money. <laughs> the next little category within tools is something we just titled random tools plus the jigsaw. And it's funny because they really are random because it's just a million little things that we bought for like one individual project, you know? So um, a couple examples of random tools still bits for the drill, sanding tools, our Craig toolkit that we bought, the best, the rubber mallet, can't forget about the rubber mallet, of course. So all of those random tools together, plus the jigsaw, approximately cost $250. And finally, there were a couple occasions where we rented tools instead of actually buying a tool. If, if we only knew we were going to use it for like one or two projects, we decided to rent them from Ho Hose, Lowe's, or Home Depot. 
And that was mainly a nail gun that we used for some of our cabinets and our drawers. And that ultimately cost $58.12 for renting a nail gun a couple of times. Should be said, I'm pretty impressed that we went through this whole build. The only power tools we used were the circular saw, the drill, and the jigsaw. It's, it's pretty cool that we went through all of this just using those three core tools. In the end, we spent $308.12 on all of the tools that we used throughout the entire conversion. Definitely pretty cool that we were able to do the entire thing on just that number for tools. Moving on to my favorite part of the build, our electrical system. What? Your favorite? For sure. I don't think that's a surprise. On our electrical system, we spent $5,997.51. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> And if you're doing a van build, you do not have to spend that much on electrical. We really valued the electrical system and wanted to have a really nice system. That led us to investing a lot of money in our electrical system, but we think it's totally worth it so far for us, for what our needs personally. That electrical cost includes our batteries, the solar panels, all the wires, and everything else in our whole system. And if you want a full breakdown on how much each of those individual parts cost, go watch our electrical video. So go check out that video if you're interested in seeing the specifics behind the electrical. And finally, we arrive at that category, the other category, <laughs> and this is everything else that we just haven't mentioned so far. This other section mostly consists of quite literally all kinds of things that you might be able to imagine. Yes. I mean, paint, drawer slides, screws, wood lube. I also bet that a lot of this cost was wood. Because it was really hard <laughs> to, going through, when, when organizing this to do, it was really hard to find exactly where all the wood <laughs> went. So I think a lot of this cost was just wood. Plywood and 2 by 4s and everything else we used. Would you believe it? I would believe it. For the other section, we spent $3,614.37. But once you take this other section into account, that is everything. That is every single dollar we have spent throughout this entire conversion. So to total everything up, to go just from the dream of the three of us living van life to actually sitting here on a couch inside a van that we converted ourselves in an old retired U-Haul box truck, we spent $24,682.78. Again, that includes the cost of the truck and all of the materials that we used to build it out. That's a, that's a lot, that's a lot. <laughs> One of the biggest costs that we avoided during this van build was the cost of labor. That is not included at all in the price. And we spent so much time, really five months straight, building this van. And we didn't hire anyone else to work on the van and saved a lot of money there, but traded our time for that money. It definitely would be more expensive if we were to hire someone, but you could save a lot of time. And something that we've hinted out throughout the video is that you can definitely do the exact same conversion that we did for cheaper or even more expensive. And if you're looking for a different type of conversion, there are plenty on that scale of much, much cheaper and much, much more expensive. So definitely if that's what you're looking for is a different cost than what we spent, just look online, find conversions on YouTube. There are literally videos for every single conversion on that entire spectrum. Now we want to answer a question that we get a lot on both YouTube and on our TikTok. Follow us on TikTok if you don't follow us already. The question is, how do we afford this? How do we afford to pay $24,000 to buy this box truck and convert it? <laughs> and it's a very important question. For each of us, we've all been saving money over the past few years from different random jobs because we knew we wanted to do something like this, so we've been saving for a while. And we're very grateful that we were in the financial position to be able to do that. And now that we're living in the van, it's great because our costs are very, very low. So we <laughs> so really low. saw that price as an investment up front to build a nice place that we wanted to live in for a long time. And now that we're here, we don't pay rent. Our expenses are basically insurance, gas, food, and supplies for the truck. It can be pretty basic. If we yeah. were to stay in one spot for a month, we could probably spend $200 a month, which is wild. So going into this project, we knew that if we built this out, then we could live here for not a lot of money and save money in the long term. And now we are hoping to be able to make enough money from YouTube and TikTok and other 
forms of social media in order to sustain van life. That's the goal right now. So we're not actively working any jobs right now other than doing this full time. And if you wanna help us out, please subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video. It helps us out a lot. It may not seem like it does a lot, but it really, really does. So if you enjoyed this video, if you liked hearing how much we spent on every single little part of this conversion, you enjoy seeing this total figure, all $25,000 and where it goes, definitely subscribe to the channel, drop a like, leave a comment down below. All of those things really do help us out and it really does mean a lot to us. Now we have some interesting facts, you could say. I really love spreadsheets. So I remember setting up this spreadsheet with Oliver initially when we started this van build to track all of our expenses as we built out the van. And now it's really cool to be able to go back and see exactly how much we spent and where we spent that money. For one, we were able to split up where we spent our money. So first off, Amazon, we spent $6,932.86 on Amazon buying <laughs> supplies. Wild. We then spent $958.98 at Lowe's. And then finally, Home Depot, where we spent $4,535.77. With that, we tracked the number of transactions that we had at each of those three core stores. We ordered from Amazon 39 times during the van build which actually doesn't sound like that many because no. it seems like we would have spent more to spend $6,932.86. We had 37 transactions at Lowe's and 68 trips to Home Depot. <laughs> Honestly, I expected that number to be higher as well because there were days where we went to Home Depot multiple times in the same day we, to buy multiple We things. easily went to Home Depot three times in one day more than once, <laughs> which is... More than you should ever so 68 seems kind of low, honestly, <laughs> even though that's crazy. So there we go. That is how much money we spent on our van build. If you have any questions about specific products or how it all worked out, leave them down in the comments below and we'll answer your questions. And again, know that you can find all of our products in the description down below. Everything we said <laughs> here is listed in the description down below so you can learn more about the specific products that we used. I was showing them how to scroll. Ah. And that's everything that we got for you today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. All of those things do help us out and they help us out towards this goal of becoming financially sustainable here on YouTube and on TikTok and on all the other social media platforms. We wanna thank you all for your support throughout this entire build. And now that we're living in this full time, thank you all so much. We love you all very, very much. And with that, I think we're done. I think we are done. So we will see you all again next time. I'm gonna go make more spreadsheets.